Hey guys, I had a friend ask me how to do an AEB shot, so we're going to do a quick tutorial here on how to do it. A couple of things that you're going to need is you're going to need a tripod because you want your camera to stay really steady because it's going to take three different shots because we're going to do a three shot exposure level. And you're going to need your camera obviously and then ob there was another thing that was brought up was that the person that was talking to me um, was shooting in primarily JPEG I think. So we're also going to show you how to shoot in RAW format to make sure you're taking full advantage of your sensor. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to show you here is how to change your image quality. So you're going to go into your menu. Right, you hit the menu button, you're going to scroll over to the first tab and you're going to go to the first page and select image quality and you're going to make sure that you don't have any of those JPEG settings like L, M or S1, 2, 3, 4, whatever and you're going to make sure that you only have RAW selected. You might have C RAW, that's a compressed RAW, that's fine too or regular RAW, that's fine too. So choose either one of those and make sure that you're shooting in RAW because that's going to make sure you're taking full advantage of your sensor. So I framed up a simple frame here where the bottom part of the frame has the trees which are kind of backlit and the top part of the frame is the sky where it's really bright. And that's where you're going to want to use these type of auto exposure bracketing shots because you're going to take advantage of taking three different pictures, one too dark, one too light, one in the middle, and then we blend the three together and we're able to get a nice picture. So what I'm going to do is hit the menu button and I'm going to scroll over and I'm going to go to the second page and go to Exposure Compensation AEB, go into there, and now my dial is going to control where my camera is going to take those three exposure levels at. So we're going to set it all the way apart so we get the most drastic picture that we can, and we're going to hit Enter and go back to our picture. And now you're seeing you've got those three white little dots, and it's showing you that you're now going to take three pictures, and it's going to automatically set it to three different exposure levels. So watch, I'm going to take one picture, boom, now I'm going to take the second picture, it made it darker. Now I'm going to take the third picture, it made it brighter. And boom, we're done. Now we're going to go inside, get on the computer. I'm going to show you how to merge these using Photoshop. So I have the three pictures that I took imported into my computer, and I've got Photoshop open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go to File, and we're going to go to Automate. And then we're going to go to Merge to HDR Pro. We're going to click that. And then all we need to do is navigate to those three files. Now mine are uh, CR3 files, so it's not going to recognize it like in the thumbnail. You're just going to see a white thumbnail. But if you have a CR2 or anything older than that, it will recognize it. So we're just going to go to Browse. And this is where my files are, but you just navigate to wherever you need to to grab your files. And I'm going to hold control, and I'm going to pick all three of those files. I'm going to hit OK. And again, I'm going to hold control, and I'm going to select all three of those files that I've now put in here. And I'm going to hit OK. And now Photoshop is going to merge those three files together. So it's going to take a minute to do that. Now, because I've chosen over here on the right, there's a mode, so you can flip between 8, 16, or 32-bit. Make sure that it's on 32-bit, and once you flip over to that, it, you're going to have that tab down here that says Tone in ACR, and we're going to click that tab, and this is going to allow us to customize the one merged file this point so again we're gonna wait for Photoshop and it's gonna merge all of those together and here we are now we have the ability to really pull down these highlights or really recover these shadows and we're not gonna really degrade the image when we do it so what I can do is go into my shadows and I can really pull that detail up into those trees and then if I want to get more detail into my clouds I'm gonna pull my highlights back I'm gonna pull those down I'm going to make my blacks more black, and then dehaze really tends to help when it comes to trying to pull in some sky details. So I'm going to dehaze down a little bit. And again, you can see that I just have so much more flexibility now that I have all three of these exposures merged together. I'm going to add some vibrance, you know, a small amount of saturation. Maybe I'll mess with the green a little bit or something. And there you have it. I'm going to hit OK. 
And then all I have to do is file and save as, and you've got yourself your first HDR picture.